Hello everyone, my name is Chris Weibel. I'm going to talk about the IEP process today, starting with parent, guardian, and student involvement in the IEP process. Um, as a parent, advocate for your child. Be their voice. Uh, being a special education student, they may not be able to speak up for themselves. So just let everyone know on the team what they need. It'll help them become successful. Uh, by law, parents are considered equal partners on their child's IEP team and the schools must give the parents a voice. So use that time, speak up, let them know what your child needs to become successful. And as a parent, your input and participation is vital. It's very important during the process. You can, like I said, speak up and advocate for your child and let the teachers, let the school know what your child needs to become successful. You'll be the person that knows best how your child learns. So it's important to stay involved in your child's process and that will ensure that your child's receiving the help that they need to become successful. And then as a student, their participation is very important as well. It'll let the IEP, the IEP team know if the education plan they created is affecting the student in a positive way, if it's helping them grow and learn and develop the skills that they need to move on or if changes need to be made to the program. As I stated before, just can't say it enough, advocate for your child as a parent. Then the referral process, um, once a student's referred to special education, it's required by IDEA that every student to receive a non-discriminatory multi-factor evaluation. And after the referral, the evaluation goes into the next steps, but child find, which is a part of IDEA, actually requires public schools to locate, identify, and evaluate all students who may need special education. And the evaluation will be conducted to see if your child meets the requirements under federal law to receive special education and related services. And then after the evaluation is complete, you will receive the results from the evaluation, which will determine whether or not your child is eligible for those special education classes and related services. And once it's determined, the school must offer special education and related services like such as speech therapy or counseling that will meet the child's unique needs. And then eligibility. Um, a student is not eligible based solely off of um, being diagnosed with a disability. Uh, to be eligible, a student must have a disability and need special education to make pro progress in school due to their disorder affecting them from learning properly. And then the components of the IEP process, I mean, every child's unique and they're gonna learn in their own way. An IEP is designed and tailored to fit the needs of your own child. That way they're learning in a way that's comfortable for them. They're, they, they feel safe and they're able to develop and grow in a positive way. And then within the IEP, there should be a statement of the special education related services and supplementary aids and services to be provided to the child. So that if the parent needs any additional help outside of that, they know where to look. So that's basically a brief summary of the IEP process. Thank you.